Well, hey there, folks, and thanks again for joining me here at Tesla Northwest and EVs. It's been a while since you and I have gotten together, and I've been busy, but I appreciate everybody who's joining me. What are we doing today? Well, we're going to take FSD Beta uh, down to Bellevue Square and check out Optimus and the Cybertruck. They are there at the Tesla showroom, so we're going to head on down. We'll bring you a little footage of Interstate 5 and FSD 11.4.7.3. I think I got that right. <laughs> and then uh, bring you some footage from the mall of the newest, uh, latest, and greatest uh, Optimus and Cybertruck. So thanks for joining me here at Tesla Northwest and EVs. I hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Well, all right. Hey there, folks. We are headed to Bellevue Square. Uh, we've got FSD engaged. We're just about to head through a roundabout, and then uh, we'll have a right-hand turn on a commercial before we hit Highway 20. Uh, we're using the latest version, FSD 11.4.7.3, and we're just waiting for uh, version 12, so hopefully that'll be coming soon. Uh, Elon said it's rolling out to employees now, so fingers crossed it's the holiday update. You're joining us as we uh, head on down to Bellevue. We're gonna go check out the Cybertruck, which is on display, and which oh, we have a reservation for. We're like number 750,000. <laughs> so hopefully sometime in 2026, we'll get our truck. Uh, but we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna check out Optimus. There's an Ionic 5, very nice. Uh, and we will bring you some clips as we head on down of full self-driving, but Nothing major. This is an FSD video. It's a, hey, let's go check out the cool shit at Tesla video. So really appreciate everyone joining us. Hope you have a good time as we head on down. There's a Polestar. Uh, lots of EVs out and about today. So thanks, and uh, we will just catch you in a little bit as we uh, either merge onto I-5 or we're heading down south. So thanks, folks. Well, we are just leaving... Uh, Anacortes going over the twin bridges and I thought I'd bring you this beautiful view it probably isn't translating too great but man you got the morning kind of mist hanging low around the foothills uh, the lumber mill putting up some steam there from their cogen plant Mount Baker's off to our left just perfectly clear and uh, if we're lucky we'll be able to get some shots of Mount Rainier as we head south so gorgeous day here in the Pacific Northwest as we head down south to Bellevue to check out Optimus and the Cybertruck Love it if you'd hit that like and subscribe. I'm not gonna bug people too bad about it. Uh, just enjoy and appreciate all of my viewers. And I noticed that uh, third uh, most popular country to view my videos is Israel. So hey, thank you everyone. Uh, we fully support and stand behind you guys and uh, just uh, hope that uh, we see peace, not just there, but also in the Ukraine. So uh, we're solidly behind both and uh, Wish our country would uh, do more to donate and help out. But hey, we're here for you, and thanks for viewing. And uh, we just hope everybody's having an awesome day. We'll check back in when things are uh, looking a little cooler. Full self-driving's doing a great job taking us down the road. So check in with you in a little bit. Okay, we we're going to be hopping on to uh, Interstate 5 South here. And as you can see full self-driving, Amos is going to be handling it for us. So great lane change, great speed. I'm guessing what's going to happen is we're going to get up here and it's going to run the whole lane out, not use its turn signal, and then get on the freeway. But we'll find out. Blinker. Yep, there we go. Okay, that's a good use of blinker. That was on and off real fast too, wasn't it? Should just leave it on. There you go. Yeah, leave your blinker on, car. Oh boy, we've got a green light. We are excited to go see uh, how busy it is, too. It should be kind of interesting. We put off going down till today because yesterday was Black Friday and we kind of figured traffic would be killer. So, sun's right in the car's eyes. It's not complaining. We are. And it's handling that just fine. Good speeds on the on-ramps are kind of weird, but there it made a nice change to 60. Okay. Could probably go through here a little quicker, but you know, keeping a nice safe distance. And let's see what it does. Obviously it thinks that there, now it fixed it. I thought the speed limit was 35 for a minute. And we're running the lane out. Yep. No blinker. 
Come on, car. Yeah, so hopefully uh, this gets improved with version 12. I haven't been doing a lot of videos on version 11 just because version 12 is going to be a whole new uh, redesign. It's a full neural, stack neural net. Uh, neural nets in, neural nets out, right? Video in, video out, so or video in, action out. So hasn't had a lot of 11 version 11 stuff just because it's going to be completely changed and hopefully again one of the things that changes is that merging behavior because that is not cool so we're going to be heading down south we got oh i guess uh just about an hour till we get there and if anything cool happens on interstate 5 south we'll bring it to you catch you on the flip side here at tesla northwest nev so we're going to be hopping on i on 405 so that should be interesting all right talk to you soon folks Right, we are just about a little less than a mile away from our uh, exit onto 405 headed to Bellevue. Oh, we've got about 22 minutes till we get to Cybertruck and Optimus, but I thought I'd bring you this uh, little interchange here, let you see how FSD does. Again, latest version of FSD, and cannot wait. Hopefully we get either 11.4.8 or version 12, either one. Both of them have been rolling out to employees. And uh, the latest uh, non-FSD update, software update, I think it's like 2023.38.9 or something like that. Anyway, that's going to have single pull FSD engagement, so you can opt in, so you only got to push the stock down once to wow. engage FSD, and I really uh, like that choice. So here we go. Uh, choosing right fork to stay on route. Okay. Oh, not too bad done. Let's see what it's got to do. So we've got to come up here and make some kind of adjustments. 14 miles to our next exit. Yeah, I keep having to pop my ears. Gorgeous day, but it's only uh, 40 degrees out, so it's definitely cool. Yeah, well done, car. These kind of spots can be a little treacherous because they get icy. But no problems. Right hand lane seems to be uh, moving a little quicker, but you know, hey, that's just how it goes. This is the West Coast. There is no fast lane or passing lane. There's just wherever you want to camp for the whole time is where you get to camp out at, I guess. <laughs> All right, I thought that was pretty well done. Not overly complicated, not like it's a clover leaf or anything, but again, it's taken us to where we need to go. We didn't have to intervene. We didn't have to disengage. And uh, we are going to be there real soon. So we'll bring you some footage. We're hopefully going to find a place where we can plug in and charge. And uh, then we'll go see Optimus and the Cybertruck. So thanks for joining us. We'll catch you on the flip side once we hit up uh, Bellevue Square. All right, we are up just about a mile from our destination and we are getting off 405. As you can see, full self-driving is in control. Had a little bobble right before we got off here. Um, we had to intervene because navigation got all screwed up, but after that it got its mind back. So come up here to our light and looks like we'll be making a right-hand turn and then Bellevue Square is just right up here. So looking forward to seeing the Cybertruck. Thanks for joining us. We're going to get a charge. Let's see how it does getting into Bothell. Ooh, okay, that was kind of weird. But, you know, I guess that's what it wanted to do. Oh, yeah, okay, good. So it's just kind of making lane changes as it sees fit. Now it wants to get into the... Oh, no, okay. All right, so not too bad. Beautiful Bellevue with all the big buildings here. We got Symmetra and I don't know what that building up here on the right is. Obviously a Starbucks. <laughs> Louis Vuitton. We don't come down this way very often. So we are uh, west of Seattle. And this is a, well, the home of places like Microsoft and Amazon. They've got satellite offices here. Lots of high-tech stuff, Tesla. And a good mall, so looks like we're gonna come right up here and make our turn. Yeah, that's where everybody else is doing it at. And then um, Bellevue Center is right up here. So hey, folks, thank you so much. There's Microsoft. We're gonna get parked, 
and charging and then we'll bring you footage from inside of uh, Optimus and Cybertruck. Be on the lookout for some shorts too. I'll make a, not uh, like the kind you wear, but the kind that are on YouTube. <laughs> Be on the lookout for those uh, as well. I'll try and get a couple put up. So, hey, thanks for joining us. We'll catch you on the flip side. All right, we made it. They have uh, EV charging on the first level here. It's charge point. And since we're in a parking garage, you want to make sure you've got the tap to pay working. And then the Tesla parking area for the service center is right next to it. So you just drive right by the Teslas and there's the charging. Okay, folks, we'll catch you on the inside. All right, here we are, folks. And here is Optimus in all his glory. There's the Tesla bot info. Very, very cool that it is here. And then there is the main event. Here's the Cybertruck with its giant wiper. Very cool. Get down here. We can see the front camera and our squared off tow hooks. There's the fog lamps. Walk around this way, we can see this one's got its side mirrors. Very, very cool. And we can see the hubcaps and the flap, flappy guys there on the end are uh, rubberized. A little shot of the suspension here. Let's take a look at the uh, panel gaps here. Looking fantastic. Yeah, very, very nice. Of course, the side mirrors are able to be taken off. Not a great shot of the exterior, but that's okay. Moving to the back here. Very, very cool. Oops, sorry about that, that. Excuse me. Here we can see the tonneau cover. The little cyber quad. Very cool. There's the backup camera. Right there. Sign ups for test drives are going on right now. That's pretty cool. And there we've got the, the spots for posts and supports. Man, this is cool. So far, fit and finish looks really nice. I'm gonna scoot around and scoot by you. Thank you. Yeah, this is just awesome. Very, very nicely done. You can see the fingerprints there. <laughs> Cameras. And there's a Fender, Fender camera. I cannot wait. So let's go see if we can find the specs sheet for this bad boy. Here it is right here. So what do we got here? We've got, excuse me. Designed to be world's toughest truck, ultra hard stainless steel, 2,500 pound payload, 11,000 pounds towing capacity, adaptive air suspension, and like I said, these things here are rubberized. Very, very cool. Okay, if I see anything else, I'll bring it to you, but otherwise I'm gonna take it in on my own. Look at that windshield wiper. My god, that thing is enormous. All right, what else do they have in here? Oh, we've got a Model X and an S, a 3 and a Y. So thank you so much, folks. We'll check back in in a little bit. All right, I thought I'd let us take one more look at Optimus. 
because I can get really close. And then we'll get out of here. So here we are looking at him from behind. There's his cute little servo butt cheeks. Touch his butt. Nice, nice. And there is his leg servos. As we come up, we can see his hands and his arm mechanics. And then there we are in his interior. Let's come up, we'll take a look at them buff lats. Try not to bang into anything. And there's our cool belt buckle. Cybertruck before we back Boogie on out of here. There it is in all its glory. There is that windshield wiper in all of its glory. And overall very impressed. We're signed up for a test drive now and uh, hopefully we'll be getting called in the next little while. Uh, the Tesla guy said that we couldn't open the doors yet. Tesla's not letting them and they don't have any information for pricing but hopefully soon. Uh, and you can't get the doors open. Come on down to Bellevue if you want to see it in person. Thanks for joining us here at Tesla Northwest Nevis. We'll just catch you on the flip side. All right, hey there folks, we're wrapping this up. We had a successful trip uh, to see Optimus in the Cybertruck, and we're now leaving Bellevue, so you can see we've got Amos in full self-driving. He's gonna get us out of here, and I thought I'd just bring you a little footage uh, before we leave. Really cool, um, surprised, I guess I shouldn't say surprised, but very happy at how good all the panel gaps looked. Um, the stainless steel didn't look wavy. The only thing I thought was a little goofy is that big giant windshield wiper. I, I just, I, I don't know how that's gonna behave when you're going 80 miles an hour down the freeway, but you know, we'll find out. Um, Air ride looked good. They wouldn't let us open any doors. The guy said uh, they're not allowed to do that until uh, told otherwise and that'll probably be after the delivery event uh, and surprisingly not a ton of people I mean I thought it'd be a little bit busier but everybody that was there super excited it's a uh, little <coughs> little electric uh, trolley oh that's cool a circuit now we just need to throw a stone ball on it and uh, got signed up for a uh, test drive so hopefully we get a call here in the near future and we'll, we'll take the cyber truck for a bitch and test drive so you can see everything's going good here we're gonna hop on uh, 405 car thinks we're gonna get home with about three percent charge so that could be interesting a real out of spec style we like it so thanks for joining us we do yeah appreciate everybody's uh, time and attention and just love it if you'd hit that like and subscribe if we see anything interesting on the way home I'll bring it to you but otherwise we'll catch you on the flip side and have a wonderful day thanks for joining us at Tesla Northwest and EVs